Welcome back. Hope you're enjoying fight night at the Felt Forum. Couple of heavyweights add victories to their list and add fuel to the fire and want to, to challenge for the championship. We'll see what happens to Ronaldo, Mr. Snipes, and Alex Stewart. Coming up next, middleweights in the ring. Let's go to Ed Darian for the introductions to our next bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for six rounds and it's in the middleweight division. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of this scheduled six round middleweight bout, referee Arthur Mercanzi. And now boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at an even 162 pounds. This young man is undefeated in six professional bouts with four knockouts. He is a native of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and now residing in Brooklyn, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Merki Corombo Sosa. Sosa. And his opponent in the red corner wearing the gold trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at an even 159 pounds. This gentleman has eight wins, two losses with six knockouts from the Bronx, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Paul Davis. Davis. Scheduled for six. Merky Sosa is a fine-looking prospect who's scored four knockouts, and he's been very impressive thus far in his career, Gil. Well, you know, uh, Sam, he, apparently he's been very impressive in the gym because he's the guy that supposedly uh, fractured uh, Michael Elagide's uh, orbital sock. And also, it's rumored that he uh, dropped Ray Leonard in sparring in the gym. So he's in with some pretty good guys in the gymnasium, and he's undefeated as a fighter, so I guess he's an interesting guy to watch. Ray will probably say it was a slip. <laughs> Either that or he may, he may say, well, the Lons guys were watching, so I uh, went down to fool him. I mean, you know, Ray's a sharp guy. So, so quickly, all over Paul Davis. Davis has six knockouts. Sam, you know, I always find that when guys are knocking everybody out, a lot of times when they get nailed on the chin, they go because they're a little tight. So uh, let's watch this fight closely. Davis trying to spin off the ropes, and Sosa keeps landing. Sosa's the guy that wants to go inside, and he's the taller guy. Sosa landing with both hands, some good punches. Davis trying to fight him off, but hasn't been able to do it. Sosa just stays right with him, pounding away. And Davis has had 10 fights, eight wins. Control, very confident. So confident that he drops his hands. Maybe a little too confident. I've seen guys drop their, their hands, but he drops his so far down, he's gonna have to clean the rosin off. <laughs> combinations by Sosa. just working over Paul Davis. Davis just keeps going lower and lower on the ropes. Next stop, the canvas. Two, three, four, five. Wow, look at him stagger around. That's it. That's it Arthur McCanty says no more. That's He'd have been better off taking the eight count on the canvas. Hey, Sam, he is completely out of control. Would you say that this Sosa is a prospect? Oh. Man, the way he showed from the opening bell, he was all over Davis, just banging away at him. And Sam, he, he wasn't in with an opponent. He was in with a guy with a strong winning record. What an impressive performance. Merki Sosa, 7-0, five knockouts. We're back where we started the night, Gil, back to the first round knockouts. That's right. A couple of first round knockouts, couple of decisions. And a couple of 
mid-round knockouts, and now we're back to the early rounds. Merky Sosa, he looks good, a middleweight from the Bronx. I sure keep an eye on him, Sam. Good power. He's, he's, he's so confident, Sam, that's the thing. Strong body and patient, looking for the opening. And again, he's the taller guy. You think he'd want to fight outside, but he just... Davis yeah. just kept Davis going just, lower and lower. Just waited for, waited for him to expose himself a little bit, and bang. Again, and this was the story of the fight from the opening bell. Davis backed up against the ropes, unable to get off because no matter which way he moved, there was Sosa's fist. Well, see, there's a kid that's an athlete, too. The, that last left hook, it wasn't really a left hook because he had switched to southpaw. I mean, he's very, very loose, very relaxed in the ring. We mentioned how he had his hands down <laughs> almost, to the, almost to the floor, to the canvas. Very relaxed guy and very confident. See, Davis reluctant to quit. Now, but Sam, referee Arthur McCanty did the right thing. Did he have Ray Leonard on the canvas? They have to watch in that performance. I don't know. Maybe. Let's go to Ed Darian for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Arthur Mercanti stops this bout at two minutes and 18 seconds of the first round, and the winner by a TKO for his seventh straight win in as many pro bouts, Merki Carumbo Sosa. Sosa. And how about a nice round of applause for Paul Davis? Let's hear it for him. Maestro, please. Some good looking young fighters on the card tonight. So Willie Wise, or William Wise, excuse me, make his pro debut impressively. Kevin Kelly, and here, Merky Sosa, now 7-0. Unbeaten middleweight, lands the big left hook. We'll be right back.